These days, live text in iOS 15 is been popular as Google Lens alternative. But is it really? Let's find out. Hello all, I am Nikhil from iGeeks blog and today in this video, we will talk and know everything about iOS 15's new feature live text. But hey, before we start talking about this, I would like to request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Hey, I am watching you live, so don't miss taking this action. Okay, considering you have done that, let's first understand what is live text and how is it useful. This is Apple's new interactive feature which scan text in images. Now that scan text can be any. It can be a normal text, a phone number or address or an email address. That is not limited to scanning a text but we can also take actions with that. We can directly make calls, send in an email, open address in Apple Maps, translate text into 7 languages and lot more. Interesting right? And you want to give it a try. But buddy, wait a minute and understand its hardware requirement first. Yes, you heard that hardware limit. This time Apple has limited this feature and can be only available on iPhone with A12 Bionic chip and above. This means iPhone 10, 8, 8 Plus and earlier models will not support this live text feature, no matter they are running on iOS 15 or not. And same goes for iPad and Mac. It will only work with iPad with A12 Bionic chip and Mac with M series chip like M1. Sad for the users who actually want to use this feature but their devices are not supporting. Not to worry, we can cross our finger and can hope that Apple will roll out this feature for all the Apple products like all the Apple devices in near future. Now we got clarity about what is live text and supported devices, let's see how we can use them. So there are three different ways to use this feature. The first one is right from the camera app and second one is from the photos app and the third from the app that support like a text input area like messaging or a search app or it can be any app. First of all, let's take a look how it works with the camera app of iPhone and iPad. So this is my iPhone 11 running iOS 15 developer beta and I have this magazine to taste this feature. Now let me open the camera app and try to scan text from this page. You can see live text icon has appeared at the bottom right. Tap on that icon and text is selected. Now I can take actions to select all text or a single word. I can copy it or look up for that word. Not only this, I can translate this text into 7 different languages or directly share it to any messaging app. But hey, this is just a text selection and sharing. What about the other actions I was talking about? Don't worry, we can do that too. Just scan the phone number or an email address or an address. Once you scan the text, it will show a line below the phone number, email or address. Just tap on that and take action. Hey, do you know another secret or you can say the hidden feature of this live text? Nope, let me show you. See this social media link like a Twitter link. Let me scan it and take an action on this. And boom, it has opened a Twitter app and navigated me to that profile. Isn't this amazing? If you love to grab attention to your social media profiles, then you can definitely add this feature like this hack to your marketing plan. And hey, if you are talking about the social media, so why should I miss the chance to share my social media profiles with you? And that is iGeeks blog. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and all other major social media platforms to stay updated with all the latest and greatest content about everything Apple. Okay, coming back to the live text, let's talk about the second way to use it and that is from the photos app of iPhone, iPad and Mac. So if you have a photo with a text or a handwritten text, you can convert text from that too. Open that photo and you will see the live text option at the bottom right corner of the screen. Tap on that icon and you can take action like copy text, translate, call, email and more. That was interesting and this feature was must needed, especially to say goodbye to those OCR app and Apple did that. Thanks team. Now let's take a look at the third use case and I must say it is impressive. Like we can activate this live text right from any messaging app in spotlight search in the search bar or from any text input area we just need to tap on the text typing area select text from camera and it will quickly open the camera at the bottom and we can quickly scan and copy text 
no hoes in first to open the camera scan text and copy we will not require to leave that application and the job has been done in the year 2021 apple did something really great and offered us an option to digitize text from images i know i know you will comment that google lens has this feature as google lens and what apple did differently i guess i have already answered this as live text is taking advantage of well integrated with ios ipad os and mac os we will not require to open other apps and take action we can simply activate this feature from camera photos or other apps and can use it another major advantage of live text over google lens is that the former uses an on device intelligence all the data is processed on the device itself and not sent to the cloud meaning more privacy we all know apple is more concerned about the privacy and you must be agree to that right if you are or if you are not you can feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below we can debate on that and meantime you are thinking what to comment on you can like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel okay it's time to say goodbye i am nikhil signing off thanks for watching stay safe stay connected